Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel Sessions and in this video we will learn how to count the distinct values in a column. In this example sheet we have a long list of duplicate names in column C and we want to count only the distinct values available in this column. Now to get the count of distinct values we will use combination of sum and count a function. Also, we can use sum product function instead of sum function to get the same output. So watch the video till end. Now to get the count of distinct values in cell E2, type equals to count if open bracket. The first parameter is range where we select all the values available in column C. So starting from cell C2, select till last value. Press F4 to convert the values as absolute range. Comma, the second parameter is criteria. And in the criteria, we will select the same range again. So from cell C2, till last value available in column C, press F4 again, closing bracket and press enter. Now here count if function returns the number of times user name Abhishek is appearing in the list. Now if I drag the formula, then it will show the number of times the corresponding name is appearing in the list. So username Aditya is appearing nine times in the list and Amir is appearing two times in the list. Now remember if you are using Excel 2019 or Excel 365 then the count if function will return the array of numbers. Now if I select the function and press F9 key then the formula bar will show the array of numbers for each corresponding name in the list. Now in the formula type 1 and division operator before count if function press enter and now it will convert all the values into fractional numbers. So if a value is appearing two times in the list the value will show 0 0.5 if a value is appearing only once then it will show one and if value is appearing four times in the list it will show 0 0.25 so here sum of values for each corresponding name will be one so now to add all these values we will use sum function or sum product function. So type sum open bracket and at the end type closing bracket. Now because it's an array function so type control shift and enter key. Result is 92 which is the count of all distinct values in column C. When we are using sum function we have to press control shift enter key. Remember, if you are using Excel 2019 or higher version, then you don't have to press Control Shift Enter key. But in lower version, like here, I am using Excel 2016. If you want to avoid pressing Control Shift and Enter key combination, just copy the same formula and instead of using sum function type sum product open bracket and then at the end press closing bracket and press enter key. So in this way you can get the count of distinct names or values in a given list. If you like the content press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel 
and press bell icon to get the notification of new videos thanks for watching